Alicia Jacob is at daycare at the moment. Today is also his school photo day which is so exciting. But anyways, I decided I'm going to be making a video today and I decided on a cooking video. So last week I went to Cole's supermarket and I found some halal gelatine which was so exciting because it's so hard to find it over here. So um, it reminded me straight away of when I was heaps younger when I was about 10 or 12 years old and I used to make homemade marshmallows with my auntie, one of my dad's cousins or something and I used to make it all the time and since then I've been looking Looking for halal gelatin um, like around my area and places it's so hard to find it so anyways I found it in Coles and it just reminded me so much of that of how I used to love making marshmallows so I decided to make homemade marshmallows so if you want to know how to make it just keep watching to make homemade marshmallows you will need gelatin or gelatine make sure it's unflavored and it comes in little packets like this and this is what it looks like you will also need a pinch of salt and depending what kind of marshmallows you're making I'm making vanilla so one to two teaspoons of vanilla essence or extra you need two cups of granulated white sugar so make sure it is granulated sugar you will also need one cup of water cold water I just put it in two cups so half a cup in each one you will also need some glucose or corn syrup and I just sprayed the inside of my measuring jug with some cooking spray so it'll be a lot easier to take out you will also need some cooking oil spray so you can spray your utensils and your pans or trays or whatever you're going to set the marshmallow in so to spray that as well you also need some baking paper or some plastic wrap or foil just to make it easier for you to take it out if you don't have it that's fine you will also need some icing sugar also known as confectionery sugar or powdered sugar you'll need about half a cup to a cup to dust your marshmallows in you can also dust your marshmallows in desiccated coconut you will need a glass board or a chopping board, a whisk, a knife, also you will need some spatulas, scissors, a sifter. If you want to make special shaped marshmallows, you can get little cookie cutters. If you have a stand mixer, it would probably be preferred, but if you don't, you can be like me and use a little electric beater and a bowl. You also need some pans or trays whatever you want to set your marshmallows in and you also need a saucepan or a pot or something to make your syrup in and a hand towel is usually really handy as well so the first thing you want to do is just line up some baking paper foil or plastic wrap or something to make it easier for your marshmallows to come out so I'm just going to be using some baking paper so what you want to do is just put some paper in everything and just lightly spray it with cooking oil spray and then you're just going to dust it with some icing sugar so just this last one I'm just going to dust with some coconut now grab your bowl and add your gelatin to it or gelatine and add your half cup of water give it a little mix to make your syrup for the marshmallow mix you'll be adding your half a cup of water your two cups of granulated sugar your pinch of salt and your glucose syrup or your corn syrup um, a good tip is just to spray your spatula with some of the cooking oil spray so it's just a little bit easier to come out and if you notice if you spray it your measuring jug or whatever you put the syrup um, the corn syrup in or the glucose syrup it will come out a lot easier as well so now you're going to bring that to a medium heat to a high heat and bring it to the boil and just with a whisk just mix that around until it turns into like a watery liquid
Once it turns into a watery kind of liquid, take your whisk out and bring it up to the boil. So you can see a lot of bubbles are forming now and it's on a really high rapid boil. You pretty much want to boil this for about five or so minutes and if you have a candy thermometer you want to bring it up to 240 degrees Fahrenheit and that is about 120 to 130 degrees Celsius. So this is what it should look like when it's about 240 degrees Fahrenheit, about 120 to 130 degrees Celsius. So we're just going to turn off the stove and we're going to start beating our gelatin mix and add this slowly into it. So while you're adding the syrup in slowly, make sure you have the electric beater or stand mix at a low heat while you're adding it because it may splash up and if it does, you can burn yourself. You want to slowly increase the speed up to high speed and you'll be beating for about anywhere from about 10 to 15 minutes. So this is beating after about two minutes and you can see that it's starting to get whiter in colour. So this is after five minutes. It's starting to get a lot thicker and it's a lot whiter as well. So pretty much look like when it's done. It'll pretty much look like marshmallow fluff. So now you'll add your vanilla essence. You add that now and mix it around for about 30 seconds to a minute until it's incorporated very well. So now you want to work quite fast before it starts setting. Just spray your spatula with a bit of cooking oil spray so it doesn't stick that much. And just start spooning in your mixture as well. Just going to add a little bit in here. So once you're done putting all your marshmallow mix in, we're just going to dust it again with icing sugar or the desiccated coconut. Um, coconut on top of it. Going to dust the other ones with icing sugar. Now it's time for the hardest part, which is letting the marshmallows set. They can take anywhere from about four to six hours. It has been three to four hours and the marshmallows have set. You can tell when they have set is when you push your finger in and it comes right up like a sponge and it should feel pretty much like how it feels like from the shop. So if it does that, it's pretty much ready. A little bit of icing sugar and put it on your chopping board or glass board and just pretty much flip them over. It should come out pretty easily and we're just going to move the paper and I'm just going to grab some more icing sugar and just put it over the top just like that. So I'm just spraying it with a bit of cooking oil spray on the little cookie cutters and I'm just going to be cutting them out now. So now I'm just going to be cutting them out, so I'm just going to push in and take the marshmallow out. It's in a cute little heart shape. And then what I'm going to do is just dust it in some icing sugar on the side. And that's pretty much it. And I'm just going to put them over here and finish it up. So I'm just going to pretty much show you the marshmallow. It's pretty much like the shop. It's nice and soft and pretty much tastes better than the shop. It will be sticky on the sides or wherever there is no icing sugar.
Now for the coconut one. Just gonna grab that out. Put all the extra coconut on top of it. And just all over the side so it's not so sticky. Into three long pieces. Just gonna dip that in coconut. I just wanted to quickly show you how my marshmallows turned out. So these are the heart shaped marshmallows and they're some of my cubed marshmallows. They are the ones that I had covered in coconut and there are a few other shapes here. You can store it for up to a couple of weeks to a month in an airtight container but I highly doubt they'll even last that long anyways. Do you want to try some marshmallow? Yeah. Yeah? Does it smell yummy? Is it yummy? Yeah, 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 yeah. Can I have some? Ah, ah. No. No? No, 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 no. Can I have some? in your mouth are you a little doggy <laughs> what is it um, are you a little doggy stop it A little puppy. Oh, don't bite me. You gonna finish your mellow? Stop being a little puppy. Do you like it? Yeah? I'll finish. You want more? These marshmallows are delicious. You can pretty much do the same thing as you do with store-bought marshmallows. You can toast them, you can put it in hot chocolate, eat it like that, or bake with it, make marshmallow fondant. You can pretty much do whatever you do with store-bought marshmallows. Well, I think that's about it for my video, so thanks for watching. Bye!